in this world there are rules and regulations for every country and in the country there are traditional rules and regulations so if you respect the laws of the country you must respect the laws of the land some people decided to disrespect the laws of a traditional ruler or traditional council by going to bury their relative when it wasn't time for them to bury that relative these people were asked to dig out or assume the dead body we are human beings everywhere you go even in our homes there are rules that govern our homes govern our churches govern our schools govern everything in this world if the traditional council says that you cannot do this you must listen to these people disrespecting the traditional rules isn't the best thing sometimes we cause our own problems if truly we want peace wherever we are let's try to give respect to people's tradition giving respect to people's tradition doesn't mean that you are so foolish or so stupid it means that you want peace <laughs> Ciao, ciao, your boy Melody. <laughs> you welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you become part of this tribe family in the Crooked Truth Court. If you're already a subscriber, I salute you. 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 <laughs> you are one of the amazing people in the whole world. And I really appreciate you for the love and support you guys give me on this channel. I say thank you so much and uh, I really love you guys. Like I always say on this channel, if you are not sensible, if you are not smart, if you are not wise, if you are not intelligent, if you are not open-minded, if you are not reasonable, please skip. Don't bother yourself. Come watch this channel. We try as much as possible to be truthful without any insults, without any attacks. If you are right, we tell you that you are right. If you are wrong, same way we tell you that you are wrong. We don't pamper anybody here. And on this note, I don't want peace. I want problems always. Yes, guys, this is what we do over here. You know, when we sit here, it means there is a case in this court that we need to observe, analyze, discuss it. Then we give a judgment, which can be a punishment an advice, an imprisonment, a commendation, or whatsoever that the person deserves. Now, this is the case, guys. Look, in this world, there are rules and regulations for every country. And in the country, there are traditions. So when there are traditions, it means there are traditional rules and regulations aside those laws of the country so if you respect the laws of the country you must respect the laws of the traditional people you know of the land and even in christianity there are laws you, mu you must respect that too if you're a christian in islam there are laws you must respect that if you're an islamic person this is how it is now some news has popped up which is very interesting now some people decided to disrespect the laws of a traditional ruler or traditional council by going to bury their relative when it wasn't time for them to bury that relative. A whole lot of things happened and these people were asked to dig out or assume the dead body back from the ground. It's very interesting. I want us to watch the video then we talk more about it. Yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to go and fill up more or less. I'm going to go and fill up more or less. I'm going to go and fill up more or less.
now guys so this is what happened let me explain the exact thing that caused them to uh to to push them or force them to assume or to dig out that coffin with a dead body now this is what they said english a man from authority so english a man from is like a community a traditional community english a man from authorities reportedly asked ask family to exhume buried re relative allegedly over ongoing ban on certain activities including noise making by the Ghana traditional council some other reports indicate that the family refused to pay bills and perform rites associated with barrier on the grounds which caused the authorities in the area to take action on the family of the deceased now so guys this is it when they were digging out the dead body from like the coffin from the ground i heard people saying that you came from somewhere to just destroy our tradition you understand and from what i read look there are communities here even in my hometown it's under gomwa traditional area now there are times that there are ban on noise noise making you cannot make noise so you can play music loudly you can make noise like by playing drums instruments loudly there are periods for that and the reason being that this is what they said during that period the gods of the land are at rest this is the time they rest so people should not make noise it's a tradition that we all have to follow sometimes some other religious groups or some stubborn people go against that and this turns into a confusion with the traditional areas especially when you go to greater accra yes the capital city of ghana that place they really take it very serious so if you go against it they will try to fight you or engage into confusion with you and sometimes even arrest you so this is it in that english amount from it's a traditional area for the guns, which is greater Accra. So these people put ban on noise making, barrier service, and so on. You know, when they are they are doing barrier service in Ghana, they play loud sound systems to make noise. So there is a ban on it. So during that time, if you have a dead body at the mortuary, you have to leave that dead body in the mortuary. So if it's three months after three months, then you can go bring the dead body and bury that person. So these people did not listen to the rules of the traditional area. They decided to disobey that rules and regulations. Like I said, some tradition, uh, some religious groups like Christians, especially, they really go against those kind of rules. And according to what I read again, these people were asked to you know pay some money so that they perform the rites after performing that rites then you can bury that dead body but they refused and they went ahead to bury the dead body so when the authorities heard that this is what the people have done they ordered their men their warriors to go and force them to exhume or to dig out the coffin with the dead body this is what they did now guys look we are human beings everywhere you go even in our homes there are rules that govern our homes govern our churches govern our schools govern everything in this world so if the traditional council says that you cannot do this if you do that it's against our rules and regulation our tradition what should you do as a sensible person as a reasonable person as a person who wants peace and follows rules and regulation regardless of your you know your religious group you must listen to these people sometimes these rules and regulations are put in place just to instill 
respect. Children will learn how to respect other people. They will learn how to respect laws. They will learn how to respect rules and regulations, traditions. So if you force yourself and go against the tradition or the rules and regulations, what must be done to you? They must force you to do things you don't want to do. Yes, even though what they ask them to do is so disturbing, it isn't so nice. But disrespecting the traditional rules isn't the best thing. Imagine if you gave respect to this traditional council or traditional rulers. This wouldn't have happened. Sometimes we cause our own problems just because we want to prove that we are stubborn. Just because we want to prove that some rules and regulations are just bullshit. They don't regard them or we don't regard them. But this isn't the way forward. If truly we want peace wherever we are, let's try to give respect to people's culture. Let's try to give respect to people's tradition. You know, giving respect to people's tradition doesn't mean that you are so foolish or so stupid. It means that you want peace. You want peace. You understand. But some people will go like, I don't believe in this tradition. This tradition isn't mine. So, yo, the F word to this tradition, it brings misunderstanding and confusion and conflicts. Let's all know our boundaries. Let's know our boundaries so we don't cross. So we don't cross to bring peace. Now, I'm only here to give a judgment. And this time I'll give these people these family members who were asked to dig out the coffin, a punishment. I think the traditional rulers were fair enough. They should have made them carry the coffin, but they didn't. Now, I'm ordering them right down to carry the coffin on their heads. They should walk on the streets for like four hours. For like four hours. Now, the interesting thing is that they buried the, the coffin. And just within four hours, they asked them to take the the, the coffin out, you see? So they should make them carry the coffin on the street for four hours. Then they leave them. Next time, they will learn to respect rules and regulations and tradition. This is what I want to tell them. Anyways, on here, we always strive for glory. We strive for success. We strive for travels. We strive for the truth and anything important. And today, we are striving for respect that will bring peace to all of us. Respect everybody's culture, everybody's tradition, so that we all live together. Respect everybody's religion, so that we live in peace. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you become part of the Strive family. Like this video, let it go viral. Share the video to someone to also see we are learning over here. Leave a comment and tell me what you think without any insults. Your boy Melody, I'll see you in the next video. Court rise. No more. If you know make money, friends, good luck you. Nobody said good luck you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day you gotta make it. If you know make money, friends, good luck you. Nobody said good luck you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day, cause one day. No you gotta love me now.